Jesus saves. There are hundreds of people in here today whose lives have been transformed by the gospel of Jesus Christ. Here is one of their stories. I was born in a small town in Tennessee, the youngest of five. I had a half brother and a half sister. I had two brothers by my mother and father. My father was a sports announcer for 31 years, so sports were very prevalent in our life. I was extremely close to my next oldest brother, Timmy. Uh, we were, played baseball together, football together. We were in a rock band together. And uh, he was pretty much my best friend. And on my graduation day from high school, uh, we went swimming out into a lake and I went under and when I did, I accidentally drowned my brother. And when I told my father the next day what had happened, he looked at me and he had been drinking. He said, you killed your brother. And instead of turning to the Lord, I turned to a bottle to keep everything numb. I had gotten a college scholarship for baseball and I went to school and, you know, I was doing really well. Baseball was good, grades were okay. And uh, at the end of my sophomore year, I got a phone call that my sister had committed suicide. And I became angry and I couldn't understand why God was punishing me and why he was taking my family away from me. You know, my mother and father both drank heavily uh, my drinking increased and I knew if I didn't do something different I was going to be like them and I didn't want to be that way so I joined the Navy. I was doing really well in the Navy, advancing, loved what I was doing and uh, my best friend in the Navy introduced me to his girlfriend's friend which was Gwen and I fell in love with her the minute I saw her and we got married you know and life was good. I was finally happy you know, after so many years of just anger and, and pain. And then a month before our first anniversary, I got a phone call at four o'clock in the morning from my half brother. And he told me my biological brother had murdered my parents and attempted to murder my grandmother. And I fell apart. I fell into a bottle and I became extremely angry with God. I just basically stayed drunk pretty much every day and I turned to drugs so I could drink longer and that's insanity. Gwen had had enough and she divorced me and I understand that. The drinking continued. Now the DUI started. I had four and so I wound up in Kentucky where my half brother lived and things weren't any better because there was this emptiness inside of me. There was, there was something missing inside of me and it was just filled with anger and hate. And I basically thought I didn't care anymore, but you know, I would wake up in the mornings with a hangover and I'd go, you know, it's got to get better. Finally, I woke up one morning, I came to after passing out and I had a 25 caliber pistol cocked and loaded in my hand. And I know what I was thinking the night before, but see, God allowed me to pass out and live one more day. I finally fell to my knees and I said, God help me. I had a feeling come over me like he hugged me to let me know I was gonna be okay. And uh, they took me to a 12 step program and I got clean and sober October 8th, 1990. And uh, I met a woman through the program and we got married and she had my son and uh, that's when I accepted Christ. And that was September 1998. I uh, began coaching baseball and uh, everything was pretty good. That wife wasn't faithful, so we divorced. And, and I went through a rough patch in 2011 and I got to my knees and I said, God, please send me an angel. Three days later, I got a message on Facebook from Gwen Van Gelder. And I was like, really? I haven't talked to this woman in 26 years. I mean, she was always the one that just got away. She was the love of my life. I thought the reason God was leading me to California was for Gwen, and then she took me to Liberty Baptist Church. And the day I walked in, I knew I, had, I was home. 
I knew what was missing in my life when I heard Pastor Tomlinson preach that morning. I found my family again. You know, God gave me my church family back and uh, Gwen and I remarried. Uh, I got involved with uh, RU, Reformers Unanimous. I was able to give back. But the, the thing God gave me the most are these boys because I used to go to prisons to speak and, and high schools, but I thought, you know, if I could help kids not make the mistakes I made, then maybe they wouldn't follow the same path I did. And after going through Bible studies and uh, going to church, I finally found peace. You know, for 33 years I'd been in turmoil with all the deaths in my family. and. This, you know, I look at my life and I look at this journey God has led me on, and it's amazing. When I was lowest, He never gave up on me. He always loved me, and to bring me a family at liberty, I, I just know I'm the most truly blessed man on earth. And what made me finally give my life to Christ was I looked at my life and I looked at the way I'd lived, the people I'd hurt, the things I had done. And he loved me, and he took care of me, and he guided me. No matter where you've been or what you've done, it's never too late for Christ to work in your life.